Good morning, everybody. It is Wanda here again this morning, um, bringing a live today's tarot forecast for you. How are you all? Um, welcome, everybody, from all over the world. Hi, Valentino, welcome. And from everyone in Australia, just a little sidetrack before I go on with today's tarot. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. What about where you are? Have you got beautiful weather? Can you hear the birds singing? Can you hear the trees talking to you? Um, maybe you might think I'm a little bit crazy, but everything in nature talks to you at every second. Did you know that? It's just that we are taught and, and we learn when we're little that human beings are the only people who talk, but that's not true. You know, animals talk to us, um, insects. If we just pay attention long enough, we get the vibe from what our environment is trying to tell us. A little plant in your house might be trying to talk to you. And I know that sounds very strange, maybe to some of you listening, but if we just bring our presence into a very gentle space, a very gentle awareness of what is around us at the moment and looking at the sky and being grateful for the beautiful things that you're seeing, that starts the essence of your day. And I'm so pleased to bring with you, um, to share with you right now, this really special new moon that's coming up. What does that mean? The new moon is when you don't see any moon in the sky. So it's very dark. Okay, you might need to put your porch lights on if you're afraid of the dark. But I love the new moon because it gives me an opportunity to see the stars and the galaxies, particularly here in our southern hemisphere, a lot more. Um, but today's um, new moon, which starts, I think, American time, so it's a little bit sort of uh, not quite ready here in, in Australia time. Um, the new moon energy is always about new beginnings. It's always a new time. Um, it's time to let go of the old things that you're doing. You're going to find this shift moving. Aside from the cosmic shift, this new moon is bringing almost like an opportunity for you to put things into a different category, if you like, if that makes any sense. And the, the main focus of this new moon in Aries, because the new moon in Aries, Aries is all about action, all about going there, doing stuff and everything. And you can use that beautiful get started action to maybe kick off a little um, fitness program for yourself. You might want to start that. It's also about balancing everything in your life. And the most important thing is, is that right now we are all getting involved in a race, but it's not a sprint. It's not like to get there fast. This is a marathon. And as you know, or maybe you don't know, but marathon runners or marathon um, athletes, they they use their energy exponentially across the whole marathon so that as they're getting towards the finish line, they know that they can go for it then because they've done all the work. Does that make sense? So with this throwing out of old things you don't need anymore and getting used to creating a new program or a new timetable for yourself, it's an opportunity to balance out what is important and what keeps you in a good vibe. Okay, if you're going to get upset with things, they're not working for you anymore, chuck it out. You have to be like that diligent. That won't work. That's also an Aries um, way of being, you know, being, being aware of what doesn't serve you and getting rid of it. It doesn't serve you anymore. If you're still getting upset, that doesn't serve you anymore. Okay, so if you do a little bit each day of your goals, if you do it just a little bit, doesn't you sit on your bum for the rest of the day and say, woe to me? No, it doesn't. It means that you're working more with the flow of your life. If you, need, if you wanted to go for a little sleep in the afternoon because you think it might serve you, then do that. 
a lot of intelligent, you know, highly creative people take a little bit of time out in their afternoon to do that, you know, around and do it for about 24 minutes is usually a really good time. Anything longer and it'll put you into a lull. But a 24 minute little nap or a little cat nap as my mum used to call it, is, is something that sort of rejuvenates the brain, rejuvenates and refreshes you a little bit. And that's really good. It's giving your mind a chance to um, defrag from all the intensity that's going on in your job. And one more thing about this new moon is to trust is to trust where you are right now. And a lot of the clients that are reaching out to me right now are very frustrated with themselves and they feel very flat and they're lonely and they feel like their life is on hold. Well, it isn't. Now, I know that you, you I know that we are cosmic creators and we are here to create our own destiny, but you also must understand that there is a greater source that's greater than us, that's created the universe. Call it God, call it the universe, the multiverse, whatever you want to call it. But the, it, when you trust, that everything unfolds as it should. And then if you're worried that you haven't found your purpose right now and you haven't found your reason for being on the planet, know that it will come. Maybe um, you're not to know right now. And, and it doesn't mean because you don't know right now that there's something wrong with you or that you're a bad person or that you're a dum-dum. It doesn't mean anything like that at all. It just means that you letting go. You look, look at the universe as a really good mum or a dad. Now, would a good mum or a dad let you cross the road when you're not ready? No. Would a mum and dad let you put the, your hand on the stove and let you um, end up with a sore hand. No, they'd sort of demonstrate the dangers. So you have to trust the universe like a really, really magnificent parent who totally loves you and that the time will come when the time is right. Create your goals. Continue to do Sorry. <laughs> Throat chakra playing up. <clears throat> okay. Your divine purpose will unfold and that is perfectly okay. And you just continue with your little bit of goal setting. You do your bit, bit, you share your love, make sure you be in that space and everything will turn out perfectly. And in the meantime, enjoy your moments of happiness, okay? In, in, you can't. I know you can't be constantly happy every five minutes, okay, but... Be in a calm vibe, a vibe that's not happy and it's peaceful. It's more of a peaceful vibe I'm talking about because Rome wasn't built in a day. A lot of you are ascending at a great rate. You just don't realise it because you want results yesterday and that ain't going to happen. You know, you're just going to frustrate yourself. So go at the flow, do your bit, continue with your goals and then you will find yourself feeling a whole lot better. So what are you going to do for this weekend? Um, I can't even see anybody because I've got so much in the feed. Oh, I don't even know where everybody is. I can't even see anyone today. I don't even know why. That's weird. I know there's some of you on, but I can't even see your names today. Hmm. Okay. All right. So see, see less if I could do this. Hang on a sec. Oh, here we are. Hiya, Mary, Sandy, Vez, Valentina, Vez. I've said Vez already. Morning. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's funny how things sort of pan out, you know, in the cosmic energy, who, no matter who you're connecting to in the morning, you know, can sort of share those vibes with you. All right, so I'm going to do today's tarot. So have a little read of what I've left in the comments box for you all. YouTube channel is there, haven't forgotten this time. And also, I just wanted to share that with people who are reaching out. They're feeling really flat and I want to know my purpose or I don't know what to do. Be okay in that space. If you can just be okay in that space, that, oh, hang on, is that better? Oh, everything's going weird. All right, anyway, doesn't matter. We will continue on regardless, won't we? Because we're fantastic. Today's card is 
Whoa. The five of wands. The five of wands is stop fighting with yourself. Okay, the wands are about action. Make sure that in any kind of action that you do do, that it is a deliberate action, that it is something that will take you a little bit step further to your goal. Does that make sense? The five of wands is also, you can see them all, they're having a bit of a fight going on there and the chook is just there, you know, beautifully just pecking away one bit at a time, one little bit at a time. So the idea is not to be up here fighting with yourself and running around like a flip, running around doing 20,000 things. I can relate to that because that's me all over. I'm the $20,000, or well not the $20,000, the 20,000 thing, do it all at once chick. And I'm going to be learning like to be the chook and taking some time out to just enjoy nature, enjoy space. And I'll still be working, but I'll be doing a combination. It's learning to live in a new way. So I hope that helps you. That's a lovely card for this weekend. It's not intense, it's not heavy, and moving into this beautiful new moon energy. And it's just saying, hang back, chill back, enjoy, be in a state of peace for yourself and love all of that that comes to you. You might even end up with some visitors um, this weekend. So today I'm going to read the card for, let's have a look, uh, Nadia, so Nadia, you're at the top there, Bobby. So I don't know whether you're still on, and it doesn't matter if you are or not, because we all know that even though I've picked somebody to read for, that um, it'll be for us. And I'm using these beautiful cards by Rebecca Campbell, and it comes from the book Work Your Light. It's her little oracle card, but they're just so they're just so beautiful. The messages are so simple and so divine. I love doing the angel cards too, but sometimes I just like to change a few little things. You probably know me by now. That um, good morning, Sandy. How are you, darling? Ah, Julia. Oh my God. Hello. Are you in Hawaii still? Far out, girl. I hardly hear from you these days, and I think it's probably because of our um, so many things happening on our Facebook pages. So welcome. I hope you're well. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Right, Naja, and for everybody here on today's tarot. Playing. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be too serious. And that's what I have planned for tomorrow. I'm heading up to Sydney to have some fun. And we've got the Mind Body Spirit Festival in Sydney this weekend. And I've got a few friends who are reading there. And I've promised I'm going to pop in and say hello. Feel the vibe. See if there's any shifts and changes. What new things are coming up in, in our world to make our, uh, what, what, any new products and things that are coming up right now that are going to help serve our world in a better way. Okay, so that's what it's all about. There's a champagne glass there. There we are. I think I might have a little bit of a champagne listening to Bossa Nova music. Wonderful. I love it. And what does this card talk to us about? Remember, taking our time, taking our time, doing things with not in a chaotic space, all right, not in a chaotic mindset. Don't let the monkeys rule your life. The monkey's up here. Let the soul guide you. In the meantime, have a beautiful weekend and I will be talking to you more about um, emotional intensity, the wounds of, of being too much, of thinking that you were too much with your emotional intensity and what that actually means on a cosmic and on a psychic level. It's very important that you understand all about those things. I've got some really remarkable answers from people um, off from my posts from um, yesterday. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, have a look and see what that's all about. Your job here on the planet is to enjoy it. It's not to go and find your third eye and all that kind of jazz, you know. You can do that, but if, it, if, you, if there's a struggle there, you won't find it. And the beauty is in the relaxed state, in the enjoyment of it. Guys, I know that's my big lesson. Guys, have a beautiful, beautiful weekend and I look forward again to seeing you on Monday. Apologies if the lighting's a bit dodgy. Um, I have to get that sorted out. In the meantime, bye for now.